Imagine an alien civilization. Imagine an alien civilization. We'll call them the Freelings, where they do not account for the individual's energy input. What do I mean by that? No Freeling has to give their energy, their time, their life to get something they want or need. They live in abundance, where they nurture the planet, and with technology bring forth plenty for them all. If they're coming together with the aspiration to build the best whatever, they go to their web and find what they need and ask for it. It is then, when given, theirs to work with. The Freeling Giving is happy to give, because that one is creating what that one loves to create. And much thanks and appreciation, happiness and self-satisfaction is expressed. All are pleased with the transaction. And for things needed that no one wants to do, they have robots to do it. And lots of Freelings who love to create robots. In fact, competitions for the best robot to solve for a problem abound. The winners have bragging rights, reputation, and appreciation as reward. If they need food, they order it on their web and a robot delivers. Or they go spend time in the company of ones who love to cook for others. They express their thanks to the ones who offered the food by placing their appreciation on the web page of that one offering thumbs up. Thus, the wealth of reputation for good works blossoms as one works one's freeling passion towards a betterment ethic. The freelings use free energy drawn on the electromagnetic field that pervades the universe, a la electrogravitics, for energy needs. When any problem arises, the freelings report it on their web. A special emergency page is there that will alert all those who sign up to check in immediately. All Freelings are encouraged to check the site daily for any problems they might have a solution to. It's considered civic duty. And since, with free energy, free flying cars or ground vehicles, free public transportation, any and all who can help can be there shortly personally. And always, a leader emerges to ethically handle the problem. The ones with the most expertise, the ones who can manage the whole picture, the ones with the best ideas. These are the Freeling heroes. Showing up to get in the way will earn any Freeling much negative social currency. Thumbs down, negative comments at the least. Or, as the three laws of ethics are the only laws the Freelings have, an ethical consequence if what they do is unethical. When a Freeling does something unethical, a rare occurrence, the Freelings who care discuss what ethical consequences there will be and meet them out. It's rare enough that ethics are broken that the investigation engages effectively the whole planet when it involves the flesh of a Freeling. Investigations are always open and live. The investigators wear personal witness pieces, cams, that broadcast on the central site for all to watch. Any Freeling that sees something they can help with will generally drop what they're doing and go to where that one can help. If after the investigation is turning up little to no further evidence, those who care vote on the guilt, and if 80% or more agree that there is guilt, there is a time frame in which to get more to care and review the evidence. When the time is up, if it's still 80% or more, guilt is presumed. If it is less than 80%, guilt is not presumed but future definitive evidence may reverse the decision. Freelings presume other Freelings are armed, though few actually are. It is a foundational right to arm one's sovereign crowndom.
The crowndom is the flesh and blood and belongings of the sovereign individual. All who choose their behavior ethically are sovereign. Outside of breaking the three laws, they are free to do as they please at any given time. The Freeling children are raised by their parents, who can spend as much time with their children as they choose to. Guided education includes the basics, reading, writing, arithmetic, logic, reason. Then the free child is shown many topics on the Freeling web. Any and all that interest the free child they can pursue. They can study many things, or focus on that which gives them bliss. They can change careers if something more suited to growing interests comes along. They are free to choose. With the betterment ethic, with learning and doing encouraged, the free child grows up with an idea of who they are, what they want, and a drive to create the best they can. None of the Freelings is motivated to produce shoddy product. It will just earn negative social currency, contempt, disgust. So all things done and produced are done to the best of ability, to highest standard, to perfection, if that is possible. The Freelings do not create much waste, because the products are made to last. No motive at all for planned obsolescence. In the Freeling Society, information flows freely with no one in control of any major part, so that problems can be addressed with full knowledge. Each Freeling owns the land they live on and use. And what would be the point to owning something you never see or use? Many Freelings live in gravity-controlled homes above their planet, visiting the many sights to see on their planet, Many live on the planet. Few Freelings choose huge dwellings. No status in a big house, so why have a huge house, castle, to care for? Some choose to live in nature entirely. Some choose humble abodes. Some live in fair-sized homes. Whatever suits their interest and comfort. Medicine is practiced by all who love to help and heal others. Successful treatments and cures are shared widely. Most of what is used comes from nature, and only when that seems to have no provision are other solutions sought. There is no motive to offer snake oil, or patent anything and then have power over others for it. The arts and the sciences thrive in Freeling society. Without profit motive to suppress competition, better solutions come to the fore. Freelings live mostly in communities that are joined by family, by interest, by goal, or any other thing that draws people together. Small communities, large communities, crafting and theater and music and cooking and any other ethical interests. Interestingly, like humans, the Freelings have a small percentage born with a gene that causes psychopathy. These Freelings, like their Earthling counterparts, are unable to feel caring, compassion, love, or empathy for others. They feel no remorse. They will do literally anything to have power over others. But in the Freeling Society, there is no handle to power over others. They cannot pay others to do dirty work for them and must do any unethical thing personally. And one person alone can do little. Mostly they choose to behave ethically, if not to serve Freeling Society in betterment. Overall, Freeling Society is peaceful, creative, spiritual, playful, loving, giving, happy, and optimistic. The advances made are astounding. A cooperative society with no motive to hide and suppress information 
will advance much faster than societies chained to accounting for energy. When money is introduced to a society, it quickly creates poverty and privilege, motive to sabotage competition, and other ills. And money, which equals power over others, promotes the psychopathic ones to the top. That tool serves them well. The Freelings long ago did away with money, when free energy first was discovered. It was a tense time, but in the end, they succeeded. And now, they are the happiest, healthiest society in the galaxy. In looking over the Freelings, I might envy them and think, Hey, we could do that too. Small wonder they hide and suppress free energy. Well, I'm all for building a Freeling Society. In fact, that is my work here on our planet. I know we have free energy technologies. See my featured video on U-Toilet. And I know with enough of us armed with knowledge, we can create the world the Freelings enjoy. See my playlist on U-Toilet or my work on BitChute. And please, share it. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar. Chill for humanity. Love always. Humanity will win.